Got company. Where? Credit to your father.
Helping the people of the Wasteland is of the utmost to the Lion's Doctrine. Helping the people of the Wasteland is of the utmost to the Lion's Doctrine.
So are they intelligent? Absolutely. Good hunting! Unless it's a steaming pile of slag, I'd say yes. Sure thing! Good hunting! Take care. It's a big wasteland. But you know that better than me, right? What? Hang on, you're not one of them. I nearly blasted you in two. Get over here before they spot you. Now what the hell are you doing all the way out here? I thought you were one of the family. They're some low-life gangers who've been giving us a hell of a lot of trouble lately. They're the reason for my itchy trigger finger. Well, at first, they do their typical gang bullshit. You know, break stuff and make lots of noise. But they always kept their distance. But this last time, they went too far. They killed all of our Brahmin. I mean, that's our lifeblood out here, you know. Ah, look, you can call me crazy if you want. But there is something odd about those creeps. I mean, they got the guns and they got the muscle. Why don't they just bust down our doors and take us out already? We're really in a bad way, and could use some help. I don't want to take my eyes off the ramp here. There's no telling when the family will return. Can you do me a favor and check on the other people's houses here? You know, make sure they're doing okay? Speak with Davis West, Karen Shenzi, and Ken Ewers. There used to be more families living here. Most of them have dismantled their shacks and moved on to greener pastures. Those that are still living here are keeping themselves indoors, thanks to the family. I think they live somewhere east or northeast of here. Problem is, they always travel in the dark, so I can't see exactly where they go. There's all kinds of places they could be hiding, like Hamilton's Hideaway, the old Moonbeam Cinema, or Northwest Seneca Metro Station. Just watch yourself. I've got an itchy trigger finger. Hello? Is this the mailman? Oh, I do hope my fall catalog has arrived. Oh, Evan, he's such a gentleman. Please, do come inside. Let me unlock the door for you. Hey, everybody. This is what the hell are you doing in here? Get the fuck Jackie. out. What's a disc hell if I know, but I'm gonna keep talking anyway. News.
Time, children. Yeah, right. Hate and the second I drop my guard, you pounce. Violence, no thanks. Look, speak your piece, then leave. So why can't you? The latest on our own We're great. Just peachy. Piece. I love sitting in my house with my thumb up my ass. Tell Mr. King that sitting here all day isn't going to make us any safer. We need to take action. Well, he's town mayor or sheriff or whatever he calls himself. He calls all the shots. When he says to get the heck indoors and stay put, we do that. Everyone is keeping themselves safe from the family. If I was you, I'd do the same. You want to know more? Talk to Evan King. They're low-life scum who decided to use Arafu as their own personal amusement park. Oh, they are a fun bunch. I'd take a shot at them if I could, but judging from what they did to the Brahmin, I wouldn't live long to tell about it. Good. Now get out. You must be exhausted from all that walking in this horrible heat. Oh, and hungry too. Sit, please. Braley Ewers is the name. Don't mind my husband, Kenneth. He woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. Oh, he's such a dear. I must remember to make more of those preserves he loves so much. Oh my, I don't know. Mrs. West is probably whipping up a batch of her famous cookies, and all the kids are playing in the yards. It's so nice outside. The grass looks lovely this time of year. Oh, certainly. Close the front gate when you leave and mind my begonia garden. I just planted them. Yes. Who is it? Oh, he did? Well, it's about damn time he did something. Come on in. I'll unlock the door. It's nice to see a friendly new face around here. It's been a long time. The name's Karen Shenzi. scared out of my mind. I'm glad he's checking on us, but until someone nips the problem in the bud, we may as well stay inside forever. He's a spineless wimp. His best solution to the family is to stay inside our homes and hide. What does that tell them? It tells them that we can be pushed around whenever they want. I'm sick of it, and I'm sick of King. We're scared shitless. Evan King's got everyone so worked up about the family, no one wants to set foot outside. That asshole runs the show. But does he really do anything about our problem? No. All they do is terrorize us. They taunt us to open our doors, throw bottles at our houses, and scream at us. If I knew King had my back, I'd step outside and show them just how I feel about their visits. Especially after this last attack. Sure. Go. Just like everyone else.
What did they tell you? Everyone okay? The family must have gotten to them in the last attack. Sons of bitches. Damn it! If only we had more men, we could stand up to them. I'm sick of them terrorizing this town. Wait a minute. When you searched the West's place, did you find their son Ian's body? This has to be the work of the family. I've caught that weirdo leader of theirs talking to Ian down by the river. Look, I know I've asked a lot of you already, but you have to find that kid. He deserves better than all this. Bite marks on their necks? That's the strangest thing I've ever heard. The family must have attack dogs with them or something. Oh, this is all I needed right now. What am I going to do? They'll keep coming back until all of us are dead. Thanks, kid. You're all right. Next time I see the family, there's gonna be hell to pay. Helping the people of the Wasteland is of the utmost to the Lion's Doctrine. 